everybody, it's Miss Amy here at the Children's Museum. And remember how last week Maki and I were with you guys in my office? It was right before summer solstice and we had an interesting little contraption that we wanted you guys to see if you could guess what it was. And so we promised you that we would be here today with a special guest to explain what it is. First, I also want to acknowledge another special guest that we have here, Miss Carol Lutzinger, Hi. who is one of the founders of the Star Society, the South Texas Astronomical Society. And we are super honored to be able to be working with you as well. So um, without any further hesitation, we have Mr. Don Hoke here. Uh, tell us what this is. Well, this is a sundial. <laughs> Basically, this. this is a, a sundial. If we don't have a sunny day here, but it will, if you get this level, use this level here, and this point this to the north, which is that direction, it will cast a shadow on this uh, surface here and show the time. So this, yes. you're saying, is like what a person would be or a stick or something? Well, this is, a, per a person could be here, a stick, but this is basically the stylus. And that's part of a sundial. And then, uh, then this one is basically the same thing, only it's a little bit more complex in the, underneath this, there is a piece of steel with a magnet. So it's a mini bar magnet, and this will automatically mark where you are point north, and it does the same thing as this one. Mm -hmm. it, the wire here casts a shadow on here, and it shows uh, what it is. Now, well, that is super cool. So um, tell us a little bit about what got you interested in this sort of thing, Don. I know you're a local astronomer, been here almost 40 years. I've done, I've built telescopes, I've designed them and ground the mirrors and everything else. And I've done a lot of observing. I've always enjoyed math, physics, trigonometry, things like this. So I have designed and built uh, several different types of sundials. What about this? This is a sundial. Oh, yeah, I, I see the months there. Okay. We're at 26 degrees. So mm -hmm. Put this here. And this will cast a shadow down here. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, on here. And it'll tell the time. Very cool. Well, what about this one? This is a cylindrical yeah. sundial. Mm -hmm. Look at that. If you notice, mm -hmm. the top is a little Dun -dun. small hole. Mm -hmm. That's ah. where the light comes through. Okay. You point this at the mm -hmm. sun, where the sun is, okay. and it will cast a beam of light down here. And where that beam of light hits, that will tell you the time. Very cool. What about this one? This is a shepherd's sundial. It's called a shepherd's because this is what the, the Middle Eastern shepherds you know, this shows where it is. You set this on the month. Oh, I see. The months are up here. June, yeah. There's June. And then this is supposed to cast a shadow down here. Wow. And, uh, they all work. This is, unfortunately, the sun is not cooperating with us today. And I had no idea that there were that many different types of sundials that could tell the time and the position in different ways. So that was really cool. Thank you for that. So I have a question for you. With all of the mechanical things and clocks and digital stuff out there now, why do we need to use a sundial like this? Well, we don't need to use a sundial like this, but the thing about this is that this sundial is what I would call dormant. It sets here all day long doesn't go anywhere. You don't have to worry about it breaking. It doesn't take batteries. It just, you know, is the sun, is the sun and the sundial work together? It shows the time. That's a very That's good point. Time. So yeah. you never have to charge it, right? You, never, you, never, you, never, you don't have to worry about losing your charger. There you go. Okay, A, did you have a question? Can you make a sundial at home? 
Yes, you can. There are various ways you can do it. You can, you know, make ones like these, like this. But the one thing where you want to find out is probably go on to YouTube and do a search on sundials. Hey, Ty, did you have a question? Yes. Um, when was it invented and by who? Well, the sundial was really not invented like we think today. It was developed over time. We can go way back to early caveman. When he looked at, he saw his shadow on the ground, he knew he used that for navigation and you know, when he had to be someplace. Actually, the development of the sundial as a timekeeping device was refined probably in the 2,500, 3,000 years before Christ, B.C. By the Egyptians, the Syrians, and in that area of the, of the world. Wow! That is some super cool information and I feel like we need to have an entire series on just this because there's so much information. Maki, I think you had one last question. Yes, I do. Actually, my question is, what kind of sundial is this? You said that there's only one in the world take, that is like this. Take one step back. Mm -hmm. It's called a human sundial. Well, let's try it out. Let's see how it works. Around the outside here is an ellipse. Half of an ellipse of the time of the clock. There's six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, on and on through eleven o'clock at night. Then up here, our inlays that show the months. DC is December, NV is November, J is January, and on through. Now, right now is June. Time wants. Come over here. Here is here is June. Put your turn with your back to the sun. Put your heels on June. That's it. Put your hands over your head and put your hands together. And if you'll see, there's a there's a shadow cast here. This is between two and three o'clock. The shadow's about right here. So it's about 2.45. Yep. And guess what? It is now 2.42. What year did you build this here, Don? 2009. 2009. So you guys, this is something that's here. It's free. You can come here to Dean Porter Park and you can check it out. It's right here in front of our awesome Children's Museum. And we are going to be coming to you um, hopefully weekly with new super cool stars. Uh, astronomy stay tuned for uh, next week and we'll be bringing you some more send us your questions if you uh, have anything you want us to investigate and explore so uh, we look forward to seeing you next week bye everybody bye, bye.